come with me into the future. I want you to picture yourself just 12 minutes from now. 12 minutes into the future. You feel fantastic. You just finished watching this handsome guy's video on future pacing and wow, your life has totally changed. Now you know exactly how to engage and close people sitting on the fence, not sure if they want to buy. You know all the techniques as of now and you feel really, 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 really ready to watch this damn video. That was Future Pacing and I'm John Benson and this is Sales Copy Secrets. Welcome today to the video all about future pacing. A simple trick to close the fence setters and stop losing sales. That's what we all want to do, right? Yeah, of course you do. 95% or so of your audience is on the fence and you want to close more of that 95% that will make you a lot of money. And if you're a copywriter or you're a marketer or you're just trying to improve your copywriting skills, this is the place for you. I just have two quick favors to ask. Number one, Please watch this video all the way to the end because the art of future pacing and the science of it demands that you avoid certain terms and I'm going to cover those toward the end of the video. And as always, if I've earned your like, if I've earned your respect, if I've earned even a passing that was pretty cool, hey, can you smash the like button and destroy it if you want to and share this video with a friend. And as always, don't forget to subscribe below. And I want you to remember that this is ethical persuasion if you choose to use it ethically. Finally, I want you to remember this. You never have to lie to ethically persuade. You just have to be brave enough to tell the truth. So what is future pacing? Well, future pacing is an NLP or neuro linguistic programming technique that allows you to take your prospect into a possible future, one that they can experience after they purchase your product or service. Most importantly, it is written as if this is present tense, as if they're looking back and the future has already occurred. And this is where so many people who teach future pacing get it wrong. They write it as if it hasn't happened yet. That's not future pacing. Future pacing is when you take somebody into a future that you want to create in their mind and you tell it as if it's already occurred. And this technique is just a lot of fun. It can be really cool for closing people that are really stuck on the fence. People have watched your VSL or read your sales letter all the way to the end and still haven't made up their minds to buy yet. This is what I use to really push it over the fence or spinal tap said, you know, when you really want to crank it up to 11. What we do is if we need that extra push over the cliff, you know what we do? Uh, put it up to 11. 11, exactly. One louder. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. Well, this NLP technique, it goes to 11. All right, here's the script from one of my highest converting video sales letters. I'm going to read it verbatim. There's quite a few slides here, but not that many. And this VSL was specific to CBD oil. And the script will be below. I will give you a template of that script below in the descriptions. And in those descriptions, you'll find a whole bunch of stuff you should probably go visit. Now, there's some obvious blanks you're going to want to fill in for your product. Some benefits that don't have anything to do with joint pain if you're not doing a joint pain product. You can easily modify the script below. I'm going to read it to you as I wrote it originally. Here we go. I want you to walk with me for a moment. Come with me into the very near future and imagine yourself two weeks from today. Did you notice how much easier it was to get out of bed this morning? How your joints feel lubed up as if they've got some kind of magical grease between them? How you slept? How much better you feel after less than a week on product name? Now, Walk with me just a little bit further in time, out to the 30-day mark. It's 30 days from this very moment. Life feels fresh, full of potential, lighter, less constrained. And relief is a gift you get to receive every single day on demand in just 30 seconds. Today, you remembered back to when you first read that product name letter some 30 days ago, and you remember a feeling you had. This sounds like something I absolutely have to try for myself. I have nothing to lose. Remember that? Today, you're feeling pretty darn good about that decision, aren't you? You bet. Your faith was rewarded. And now a person who looks younger and feels younger, healthier and happier, is staring back at you in the mirror every morning. There are days now when pain feels like nothing more than a distant memory. 
You've recaptured your essence, the younger version of you who was free from chronic pain, excited for tomorrow, eager to go all out, ready to suck the marrow out of life. And this future, the one I painted for you above, is one that begins right now, today, in the here and now. Okay, that's a pretty long series of slides, so you're going to have to watch this video over and over and over again. And even though I've got the script for you below, you don't know why the script works, and you're going to need to know that. So let's dive into it. So let's look at what I did. First of all, walk with me. Walk with me. Go with me into the future. Go with me X number of days into the future. Imagine yourself two weeks from today. Now, notice how everything is written as if it's already happened, as if it's looking backwards two weeks in time. And that is the key to future pacing. Here's what you don't say. Are you wanting to get out of bed without feeling so much pain? Then two weeks from today, you certainly can be. That's not future pacing. In fact, that's not even good copy. And by the way, this may not be compliant copy. This is not about compliance. This is about teaching you a technique. You don't have to use pain relief or any sort of claims like that. I just happened to use it in this letter and we weren't going on Facebook. So rather than say, are you wanting to, maybe you can in the future, notice what I said. Did you notice how much easier it was to get out of bed this morning? this morning. Now, this morning without my induction into the NLP framework of future pacing would literally be this today morning. <laughs> and they didn't get out of bed feeling any better than they ever have this morning. But I've taken them two weeks into the future and they're seeing that in their mind, consciously and subconsciously, two weeks into the future. And that is the morning two weeks from today. Their mind is literally seeing the future that I want them to see, but what's really cool is they're the ones painting the details of that future. I don't know their details. I'm not as powerful as their imagination, and you aren't either. You're not as powerful as your client or prospect's imagination. Let them do the painting. You just direct the paintbrush. Does that make sense? And what I'm doing here is I'm just painting a picture of their life less burdened by, a little bit more free from their primary complaint. I don't say, hey, two weeks from today, you're absolutely healed because that would be bullshit. And I would never use the term healed anyway when dealing with a natural supplement. So what I'm looking for is a slight change, something that feels a little better, but noticeably different than they were two weeks prior. P -p -p prior. You definitely don't want the, hey, you're cured, mate. You're cured, mate. Bloody do good up. Then I take them further into the future. It's the same technique, but now their chief complaint diminishes even further and the benefits in their life start increasing. And this will work for any product or service. Now, one of my little contributions to future pacing is a technique that I call pacing within pacing. And it's kind of weird, but it's so cool. I'm gonna break it down for you. It's the part where I say, today you remembered back when you read that product name letter some 30 days ago, and you remember a feeling you had. This sounds like something I absolutely have to try for myself. I've got nothing to lose. So what I did there is I took them back in their future time to the present time, remembering something that I actually want them to say to themselves, which is, I got to try this. I've got nothing to lose. Now, did they actually say that? Probably not. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't but it's just such a cool technique. I couldn't possibly let it slide without showing you what it was. And then I break the spell by saying, okay, back in the present moment where the action starts today, it all started in the here and now today, right when you click the button below that says, boom. And I would say what I want them to click. Okay, that was my video on a simple trick to close the fence sitters and stop losing sales. So to recap, now you know how to engage your prospect's most powerful tool, their imagination, and direct it toward a possible future by speaking to them as if it's already happened. And this is going to help copywriters, marketers, small business owners who need copy to close more of the fence setters, to close a lot more of that 90 to 95% of people who aren't buying from you. Okay, in my next video, I'm gonna talk about what's called command terms and how command terms can drive crazy sales and conversions if you know how to use them in the right place. And we're also gonna debunk some NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming myths along the way in case you've ever heard any kind of woo-woo stuff about it or anything like, oh my gosh, it's witchcraft. It's not, I'm gonna tell you why in the next video. And always remember to like, share, subscribe below, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you'd like to hear in future videos. I am John Benson, and I'm here to help make you unignorable.